Hey, I hope you're doing well today. It is January 6th. It is Epiphany. So yesterday brought to a close the 12 days of Christmas. And today is the day where Christians celebrate the visitation of the Magi as they came to worship and to honor the Christ child. Uh, Epiphany, what does that mean? I mean, it's when God gives us a, a revelation, when we're able to see something with a clarity like we've never had before. We use that term, you know, ah, I had an epiphany. It's kind of appropriate because you watch what's happening in our nation today. Watch what's happening in our capital on the news. It should be a wake-up call for America and particularly for American Christians. This should be an epiphany for us to start really standing up for truth, for righteousness, and not just talking about it. I mean, Christians have been good at talking the talk, not so good at walking the walk. And, and so we need to start following the Lord, not just with what we say, but with what we do and how we stand up and fight for what is right. But you know, before you worry about trying to do that, you also have to worry about fighting for what's right here in your heart and here in your mind. Uh, a lot of times we try to control things that are really beyond our control while overlooking the fact that we're not controlling things that are very much within our sphere of control. We want to control what's going on in the world. We were worried about the Senate or we're worried about politics. We're worried about the courts. You know, those things, those things are beyond us in a lot of ways. Not that we shouldn't do our part. We should, and I'm, I'm going to be preaching about that later on this month. But there's other things more immediate right here in our hearts, the sin issues of our hearts, the sin issues of our minds that have to be dealt with first and foremost. And then when we're effectively dealing with those, then we're ready to go out and make a difference in our country. Hey, one of the reasons why politicians are so dysfunctional today is because they, they do that very dynamic. They overlook the important changes that they should be making in their own lives. And then they want to make all these changes in the larger society. They want to change your life and they want to change my life and tell us what to do. And yet they don't even have the ability to control themselves and they're completely dysfunctional in their own lives. And so there's a great word for us in scripture. And when you look at the Christian writers throughout the ages that have stayed true to God's word and the orthodox teachings of scripture, very much first and foremost, let God change you on the inside. And then when he's changed you on the inside, you're ready to go out and seek to make a difference for good by changing the world outside. Let me read to you. This is by E.B. Pousset. Um, he was a uh, English churchman in the 1800s, longtime professor at Oxford University, professor of Hebrew. But this is what he writes. Great word for the beginning of a new year. Take steadily some one sin which seems to stand out before you and, and root it out by God's grace, root out every fiber of it. Purpose strongly by the grace and the strength of God, wholly to sacrifice this sin or this sinful inclination to the love of God, to spare it not until you leave nothing remaining of it, neither root nor branch. Fix by God's help, not only to root out this sin, but to set yourself to gain by that same help the opposite grace. What does he mean by that? Well, he explains it. If you're tempted to be angry, try hard by God's grace to be very meek. If to be proud, then seek to be very humble. Great word for us as we start out this new year. And uh, just again, encourage you to log on with us, worship with us online. We've got a great series that we're in uh, as we started this month of January, this first year or first month of 2021, the new year that's before us. Come and grow with us in relationship to your understanding of God's word how God's word is applied to your heart and to your mind, and then go out and make a difference in the world around you. That's our whole goal. Uh, we love you in the Lord and glad that you're a part of the worshiping community here at Elizabeth Baptist Church. God bless you. Have a, have a great new year in 2021.